Hey, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Ria Varsami and I'm a shamanic astrologer. Today I will be sharing with you astrological information based on shamanic astrology about the upcoming new moon that is happening in Gemini the 30th of May. Um, so we have been under some intensity, uh, we have been facing some old wounds, some very deep uh, emotions that were hidden under uh, the surface. We had some very powerful eclipses. We had uh, a solar eclipse on the 30th of April and a lunar in the middle of May. These two, as we said, worked together. And now is the time of integration. We are integrating all this intensity. All this was like an opening, we saw some things and now it's like slowly we are closing and we are uh, guided towards the next step. Uh, so every new moon is a time when we start new, a new cycle is beginning, where we plant our seeds, where we set our intention. And this new moon in Gemini, it's because Gemini is connected a lot with the way that we think, uh, how we communicate with our social skills, it's um, also uh, an energy that is super intellectual. It's an earth sign. It's connected a lot with ideas uh, and projects and, and also with the fun part of us, with the fun part, with the comedian. In Samanic astrology, uh, it's the archetype of the comedian, the storyteller, and also the archetype of the wanderer. Always is very curious, looking for different things, for variety all the time. Uh, so a new moon in Gemini, this new moon in Gemini is uh, opening up a door uh, com to complete new energy, to a positive, uh, vibrant new energy and is also to the way that we think. It's a reminder uh, to the way that we think as our thoughts create our reality and also to um, how, how we think, how we think. Uh, what what is in our mind like uh, let's say most most of the day and uh, what do we think for ourselves what do we think for our life uh, the ruler of Gemini is Mercury Mercury is the divine messenger uh, Mercury is in retrograde in Taurus and Mercury is going to be in retrograde until the 3rd of June and Taurus is all about stability, security, our material needs covered, it's very earthy, very grounded. So having Mercury retrograde in Taurus, it's about changing the way that we think towards stability, towards security, towards our material needs. So this is going to be the main, uh, let's say, theme of this new moon. And because it's in retrograde, uh, it's going to be a time of introspection, of reflection, reflecting the past, what was happening and really sitting still and integrating the energies of the eclipses and also uh, observing observing this as I said the way we thought what was how what, what what happened in the past and now how we can actually change the way that we think to bring more stability more security etc in the energy of Taurus now uh, we have Mars in Aries Mars moved to Aries um, Mars now is in, in the, during this event is in four degrees of Aries and uh, Mars is the planet of action of manifestation in shamanic astrology is connected with how we express our masculine side and this energy is really pushing us to just go for it uh, really take action you have all these ideas like oh materialize these ideas bring them into your reality this is the the push of, of uh, uh, Mars in Aries um, and also of course uh, Mars is the ruler of Aries uh, so it's exactly in this in its energy there uh, but we, we it's not a good time to take action it's a time to really sit still observe uh, don't push things don't rush things uh, reflect and just uh, wait a bit <laughs> wait until the 3rd of June until the retrograde Mercury retrograde ends uh, so now also uh, Jupiter does a conjunction with Mars in Aries under this new moon event and Jupiter is the planet and wherever it, it, it goes it expands the energy because it's an amplifier so it amplifies all this fire energy of Aries so you can feel like you have a lot of motivation you can find strength in you that you don't know from where it comes it's like this push like oh you, you should go for it you go for it this uh, 
grass, right? And that's what Jupiter does. And this is an amazing energy, an amazing help from the cosmos to really um, go for our goals. But as I said, we still have to wait until the 3rd of June. Don't rush now into things. Now, uh, I talked a little bit about it in my previous video. Uh, uh, Jupiter uh, moved into the energy of Aries after 12 years. This is a very remarkable, important time for the collective and also on a personal level because Jupiter changed signs every 12 years. So on the 10th of May it moved into Aries and it's going to be uh, staying there for uh, for a while and then it's going to be into Pisces, come back so uh, there is on and off a little bit until the end of the year and then we're going to move back to um, back to Aries. So if you want to know uh, what, how this is going to affect you, you have to look what was happening in your life 12 years ago uh, and you have to look where does uh, the four degrees of Aries fall in your chart and in general in the energy of Aries if you have any planets in which house does it fall because this is going to be the area of your life uh, where uh, you will start a completely new cycle this is now we are starting a cycle for the next 12 years uh, so this is uh, very important to look at it uh, now also another uh, thing I would like to mention is Mercury as I said is the ruler of this event does a difficult aspect a square with Saturn. Saturn is a difficult planet, it's the great teacher, it brings challenges, uh, it brings uh, difficulties and during this event is calling us to see is our way of thinking, is all these new ideas we have is are beneficial on the long run or are, are they serving us for the long run? Can we create stability and security for ourselves on the long run? Because Saturn wants us to think long term wants us to have this uh, structure right this planning um, now also uh, as i said mars is in aries which is in its rulership and also we have venus in taurus when it's in where it's also in, in its rulership because um, uh, venus is the ruler of, uh, of taurus so now venus in taurus is, uh, is telling us, I want to have a good life. I want to have a life of luxury, of comfort, of ease. I want to have everything that I need because Venus is uh, how we express our divine feminine. It has to do with the goddess, uh, with the arts, with beauty, right? And a lot more. Uh, so under this new moon event, we have all this wrath, all this push to, to take action, to move towards our goals and we have a lot of new ideas and a lot of new possibilities and as I said we have to step back, wait uh, until the 3rd uh, of June uh, until this energy is integrated and also it's, it's the question is, uh, the question we should ask for, for, to ourselves is how do I want uh, to live my life? How, how can I create a life that I, that I like, that I, I like enjoy, I like, I like waking up every morning and enjoying my life? Uh, how is my life until now? How can I create a life that is aligned uh, with my soul? This is the question this new moon in Gemini is bringing to us. And also, uh, we have a very powerful full moon coming on the 14th of June in Sagittarius. And until the 40th of Sagittarius, it can still be a little bit of uh, not uh, clear where to take action but by the full moon bringing all the light uh, there to us to see and uh, things will be clear so if things are not clear after the 3rd of June then things after the 14th of June will be very clear about where to take action and the energies, the old energies uh, that we worked before will be integrated so it will be uh, easy to really step to the new with confidence and strength. So that's all I want to share with you today. I hope you enjoy my video. If you enjoy the video, uh, press the like button. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I upload a new video every new moon and every full moon. Uh, have a beautiful, beautiful new moon in Gemini and see you in my next video. Bye for now.